सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो एज आई टोल्ड यू हैव डिस्कस्ड विद सम ऑफ द डिराइवेशन ऑफ रिलेटेड टू बैंड विथ एंड सेलेक्टिविटी द डिराइवेशन ऑफ एरेथमेटिक मीन यूजिंग द टू ऑफ द कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसीज ओके omega 1 and omega 2 and we have derived one equation for arithmetic mean that is a resonating resonance frequency omega not is equal to omega 1 plus omega 2 divided by 2 right so before those before that session also we have discussed few of the derivations related to the expression of uh, uh, quality factor selectivity bandwidth uh, everything we have discussed in brief okay those have not seen that videos go please go and watch those videos so in this problem in this uh, video i'm just going to brush up with some of the problems okay so that you would be clear about whatever till now we have discussed then in the next session we are going to derive one more uh, important derivation okay so there are some of the problems uh, uh, related, related to these uh, formulas or derivation which i have derived so let us because uh, these problems would be coming for a uh, 6 to 7 marks in the exam okay in the resonance part so first problem is two coils one with the the resistor r1 is 0.51 ohm uh, the inductor l1 is 32 milli henry milli stands for 10 power minus 3 hope you might be knowing it the other with the resistor r2 as 1.3 ohm and uh, l2 is equal to 15 milli henry and two capacitors of 25 microfarad and 62 microfarad are in series with the resistance 0.24 ohm okay so determine the following for this circuit whatever we should determine that they have given it here one is the resonance frequency q of each coil that is quality factor of each coil q of the circuit quality factor of the circuit the cut off frequencies and the power dissipated at the resonance if the value of e is 10 volt uh, v rms okay first they have told us to find the resonance frequency that is omega not okay so in order to find the value of omega not what in all are the data given in this question they have given two of the inductors two of the resistors and two of the capacitors right so now using this how we can find the value of omega not so the formula for omega not as you know that omega not is equal to 1 divided by square root of lc right according to the series resonating frequency this is the formula which you have derived for omega not 1 divided by square root of lc okay in this uh, the value of the inductor and capacitor is not given but we should be finding the equivalent value by uh, using two of the inductors and capacitors okay so that's what i have done first is ls that is two inductors l1 and l2 i have represented it as ls so they are all are in series with resistance 24 so if these two are in series so we should be adding them okay so l1 plus l2 that is 32 plus 15 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 47 milli henry so this is the equivalent inductance okay similarly equivalent resistance okay they have, they have told right in the question are all in series with the resistance 0.24 ohm that is one is 0.51 and one is 1.3 those two three resistances would be adding and the equivalent resistance you would be getting is around 2.05 ohm okay then the capacitors uh, so these two capacitors cs the formula is c1 c2 divided by C1 uh, plus C2, we should be doing that and substituting this. The two of the capacitors are 25 and 62 microfarad. Okay, do that. C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Take 10 power minus 6 common. One would be cancelled. We would be left with 25 into 62 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 25 plus 62. That is 87. Okay, solve this and we would be getting around 17.816 microfarad. Okay, we have got equivalent inductance, equivalent capacitance. So now if we substitute it in in this formula, that is. Omega not would be equal to one divided by square root of L S C S. Okay, that only I have done it here. This is not required. Okay, till here it's enough. Omega not equal to one by square root of L C. As I told you, in that I substituted the value of L and C, so we would be getting around thousand ninety two point eight one radian per second. Okay, resonance frequency one is done. Next is quality factor of each coil. Q of each coil. Right. So. Q of each coil means uh, coil uh, we can re represent the inductor. So two of the inductors they have given one is L1 and L2, and you know that the general expression for quality factor is omega not L by R when inductor is given. Okay, they have told you Q of each coil or of each inductance. So we should be using the formula which consists of inductance 
uh, for the quality factor so q is equal to omega naught l by r okay so in first in first case it is omega naught l1 by r1 in second case it is omega naught l2 by r2 so do that omega naught we have found it here that only substitute it that is uh, 1092.81 radian per second l1 in the question it's given as uh, 32 milli henry substitute that divided by r1 which is uh, 0.51 ohm so solve it and we'll be getting around 68.56 as our quality factor q1 similarly uh, they have told you of each coil of uh, coil consisting of inductor uh, uh, 32 milli henry we have got 68.56 and coil consisting of inductance value 15 milli henry solve this and we would be getting around 12.609 okay so these are the quality factors of each coil okay next sub question is quality factor of the whole circuit okay that is omega l q is equal to omega naught l s by R S. Okay, a whole circuit means we should be taking the equivalent in, uh, inductance and equivalent resistance into the picture. So uh, omega substitute whatever we have got omega naught in this case that is 1092.81 L S is 47 into 10 power minus 3 which we have solved in first. R S is 2.05. Solve this and we would be getting our uh, quality factor of the circuit around 25.05 as our answer. Okay, next is they have asked us to calculate the cutoff frequencies okay that is omega 1 and omega 2 so how to calculate that using we can use uh, bandwidth into the uh, configuration that is uh, we know that omega 1 is equal to omega naught minus b by 2 okay and uh, omega 2 is equal to omega naught plus b by 2 as you have seen in the relation in our previous uh, uh, sessions okay so what is the formula for bandwidth bandwidth we can write it as uh, we have uh, one expression uh, with respect to quality factor that is omega naught by q right that you do it omega naught we know that is 1092.81 divided by quality factor that is the quality factor of the circuit you should be considering which you have found that is 25.05 okay substitute that and we'll be getting around 43.625 as our bandwidth okay that you substitute here once for omega 1 and omega 2 that is omega naught is uh, 1092 minus bandwidth by 2 okay solve it and we would be getting around 1070.99 radian per second first omega 1 next is plus same values do it for plus okay then we would be getting around 1114.62 radian per second so, so omega 1 and omega 2 next is power dissipated at the resonance if e is equal to 10 vrms okay so the power formula is p is equal to v square by r okay why because they have given the value of voltage vrms so v square rms by r so 10 square divided by equivalent resistance in this case rs that is 2.05 so 100 by 2.05 it is around 48.78 watt okay so this is the total power dissipated in the circuit so like this uh, the problem should be coming coming you should be knowing uh, which formula where to be applied okay so let us see one more problem so this is the next question the question says that it is required that the series LCR circuit should be resonating at 500 kilohertz and it uh, should be determining the values of LCR if the bandwidth of the circuit is given is uh, 10 kilohertz and its impedance is 100 ohm at resonance they have mentioned it at resonance okay you should be keeping that in mind also find the voltages across L and C that is inductor and capacitor at resonance again they have told you at resonance if the applied voltage is 75 volt okay first thing is analyze the question and try to write the given data okay what they have given here they have given that the circuit should resonate at 500 kilohertz that is the resonating frequency resonance frequency f naught they have given it that is 500 kilohertz okay so they should be uh, uh, noting down the unit okay if the unit is in hertz then it is uh, always f naught if the unit is given in radian per second it is always omega naught okay that you should be keeping in mind so here in this case they have given the value of f naught then the resistance they have given it as 100 ohm then uh, bandwidth they have given it as 10 kilohertz so bandwidth is the uh, higher cutoff minus lower cutoff that is uh, f2 minus f1 i am writing it in this case f2 minus f1 they have given it as 10 kilohertz and we should be finding the values of lcr okay using these data let us try to find uh, solve the uh, values of lcr first what i am doing is they have given the value of bandwidth right bandwidth that is f2 minus f1 so bandwidth one formula we have derived in our previous sessions that is bandwidth is equal to r divided by 2 pi l okay using this let us try to solve 
okay because we have given the value of bandwidth we have given the value of resistance okay we need to find uh, either one of these values but uh, if you look at this formula we can find the value of inductance right so that only i'm doing it here bandwidth is 10 kilohertz i'm substituting it here 10000 r is 100 divided by 2 pi that is 2 into 3.14 that is 6.28 into l so what to do just to cross multiply and solve for l okay hope you might be knowing too these are some of the mathematical steps to solve i've just cross multiplied here uh, 100 by l remains so this whole term i brought it down here and l i brought it up here so 100 divided by 62800 zeros would be getting cancelled 1 by 628 is around 1.59 millihenry okay so this is the value of inductance okay so like this you should be solving for inductance next is resistor and capacitor how to solve is so what one more thing what they have given is the frequency they have given resonating frequency we know that formula for resonance frequency that is f0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of lc right here the value of l we know the value of uh, f0 we know we should be knowing only the value of c so use this formula and solve it so f0 they have given it as 500 kilohertz so that is uh, around 5 lakh hertz divided by 1 divided by 6.28 2 pi okay so square root of l is uh, 1.59 millihenry and square root of c okay then solve this uh, mathematically and we would be getting the capacitance around 63.77 into 10 power minus 12 farad or we can simply write it as 63.77 picofarad okay so this is the value of the capacitance next is the value of the uh, resistance not resistance resistance is already given right okay so inductance and capacitance we have found now next they have told us to find in the question what they have given is also find the voltages across l and c at resonance if applied voltage is 75 volts okay voltage across l and c we know the formula for that before that uh, in, you know in order to apply the formula for vl and vc the one common factor is q0 that is the quality factor okay before that we should be finding the value of quality factor so we have one formula for quality factor that is f uh, either this or we can use even this this is easy in this case because we have ready made values so we are here it consists of some of the square roots so it would be complicated so what we can do is we can use this formula for q0 okay that is equal to uh, re related to selectivity that is f0 divided by f2 minus f1 okay so in this the value of f0 is 500 kilohertz in the question they have given and f2 minus f1 stands for bandwidth so bandwidth also they have given it as 10 kilohertz so 10 uh, kilo kilo 10 power my uh, 10 power 3 10 power 3 gets cancelled 500 divided by 10 that is equal to 50 okay so for inductance the formula is q0 into v with angle plus 90 okay volt so q0 into v do it 50 into 75 is 3750 with an angle of uh, 90 degree plus 90 phase shift so this is the value of vl similarly vc is equal to q0 into v minus 90 degree phase shift so again the answer is 3750 with an angle of minus 90 volt okay so these are the values of vl and vc so like this uh, the questions would be coming so one more question where they have asked us to calculate the half power frequencies of series and resonance circuit when the resonance frequency they have given it as uh, 150 kilohertz that is f0 and bandwidth they have given it as 75 kilohertz okay you should be finding the values of half power frequencies f1 and f2 here in this case okay how to find first write the data f0 is given f2 minus f1 is given so first in, from this equation we can uh, solve for f1 that is f1 is equal to uh, 75 kilo uh, f1 is equal to f2 minus 75 kilohertz okay Uh, name it as equation star so we have one more formula for f0 okay which you have derived that is f0 is equal to square root of f1 minus uh, f1 into f2 right so that you apply here so substitute the value of uh, 150 kilo uh, sorry f0 that is 150 kilohertz the whole square why i'm taking the whole square because in order to cancel this square root okay that is equal to the so, uh, value of f1 that is here i have written it f2 minus 75 kilohertz okay f2 minus 75 into 10 power 3 into f2 so multiply it so f2 into f2 is f2 square and these two multiply it so minus 75000 f2 okay 
so uh, make it a quadratic equation here in this case and uh, write it like this and solve for quadratic equation using the formula that is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a okay and solve this whole problem here okay check one by one the steps okay the value of a is this con uh, constant here so the value of c is this constant here this is the value of b and this is the value of a1 okay that you substitute here and solve like this so what uh, uh, one answer we would be getting it around f2 as uh, 192.11 kilohertz okay whatever answer we got it here substitute back in equation star okay substitute the value of f2 here which i have got here okay so here two values of f2 would be getting one is positive and one is negative the negative one you should not be considering because frequency is always positive okay substitute that and we would be getting the answer of f1 as 117.11 kilohertz okay so like this the problems would be appearing hope this is clear so in order to make you clear i have uh, uh, solved uh, around three questions for you just uh, i'm not solved it but i've just shown it to you all because uh, the problems are very easy uh, ready made formulas you should be remembering from the derivations using that formula where to apply that particular formula you should be knowing okay so yeah that's all for the session so let us see you in the next session like this video share this channel to a huge number thank you